Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, as you can see, we've got the new EcoFlow Smart Home Panel set up and wired to our current home panel. And what's nice about that is we are ready. If we ever lose power, guess what? The Smart Home Panel kicks in. And we've got 10 specific circuits already chosen, right? And that means we'll have power when the grid goes down. But where do we get the power from? Well, guess what? You get the power from the Delta Pro and the smart batteries. Now, what's even better than that is you can have two Delta Pros and two batteries. And what's nice about that scenario, guess what? You can control up to 240 volt appliances. But yes, you have to have two Delta Pros in order to do that. Okay. Now, what's even better than that is I can recharge the Delta Pros via solar or I can recharge the Delta Pros if I live in an area where the cost of energy is less maybe when I'm sleeping, right? So there's a lot of things you can do. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is more of an introduction. I am going to show you what you get when you buy the smart home panel. We're going to take a close look at what's included in the box. We'll also take a quick peek at my app and we'll take a quick peek at the smart home panel. So let's get started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. So this is what you get in the box with the EcoFlow Smart Home Panel, except the modules that you see here. These modules, 30 amp, 20 amp, and a 15 amp, will be purchased separately, or when you place your order, you'll be given an option to choose what you need. Now, don't forget, you have 10 circuits you can control with the EcoFlow Smart Home Panel. You get mounting brackets, you get the screws, you get your cables that you need for installation, you get an infinity cable, okay? Now, this cable connects to the side of the Delta Pro, take the power from it and bring it over to the power station to power your circuits. Now what's nice about this cable is you can either connect it in the front or on the bottom you can actually connect it as well. And if you get two Delta Pros you're going to need to buy a second cable especially if you want to support a 240 volt appliances. But you only get one in the box. You get a user manual and an installation manual and I will tell you now you probably want to download the latest off of the EcoFlow website. And that is what you get in the box. One quick note I thought I'd mention too is if you are going to get this installed, you're better off getting it installed with an electrician because you're going to need to get permits and all of that to make sure that this gets installed properly and the right way. So just thought I'd mention that. Let's take some time and go over some basics. So the smart home panel currently is not available. It is early May 2022. The cost is $1,399. Now, as you can see from the uh, screen in front of you, it is very expandable. And, you know, when you go from one Delta Pro all the way to two Delta Pros with two batteries and two smart generators, you can have enough power for 25 kilowatts, which they consider power dependence, and power for days. Let's talk about some ways you can recharge your Delta Pro and your Delta Pro smart batteries. So number one, you can recharge them with your home panel. Number two, you can recharge them with solar panels. And that is great because that becomes free down the road. Number three, you can charge them with the smart generator, as you can see on the screen. And number four, guess what? EcoFlow is working on wind turbine to recharge your batteries and your Delta Pro. That'll be really cool when that comes out. Once we have our Delta Pro and our batteries connected and plugged into the infinity port, all we have to do is hit this power button. And as you can see, AC1 is on green. Now let's take a close look at the smart home panel and how we had it organized. 
So there's our smart home panel, all set up. Push it in, open the door, and now we've got our 10 circuits here, okay? And what we did was we actually took a piece of paper and we wrote down the 10 smart home panel circuits, what breakers they were aligned to, and what, you know, how many amps, right? So 15 amps, 30 amps, 20 amps. And then we made a note of what is connected to those specific breakers, which is really nice. So this keeps us organized. This is a pretty simple display, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the app real quick. We're not really gonna do anything in depth, but let's take a peek for a minute. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the app. Again, this is gonna be quick, but I'd like to show you some things. So here are the EcoFlow products we own. We can click on the smart home panel. It goes right into the interface. Now, the left side is grid power. The right side is power from, you know, home power, basically going into all of my outlets. The bottom are gonna be your Delta Pros. As you can see, we've got one connected. Today, out of those 10 circuits, we've used 5.35 kilowatts. All right, let's go into settings for a minute. So if you click the gear in the upper right hand corner, you can rename the device. All right, you can rename your circuits. You can do firmware updates in here as well. But let's click on circuits for a minute. So here's where you rename the circuits. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I want to go into number one, I can rename it. I can change the icon, room, appliances, or other. So if I hit appliances, I can choose one of these icons, rooms, I can choose one of these. I can also see the rated current on the circuit as well. I can also turn the circuit off. Let's get out of here for a minute and look at some power usage. So if you click in the center here, you're actually going to see your total usage on the 10 circuits, okay? And then if you look at each of these circuits, you're gonna see the power they're using. Now, some of them are named and some of them are not, but this is live. Now, let's say I wanna take the bedroom circuit and, and whatever is connected to that circuit and switch it manually to battery. Click on this, see where it says auto. And by the way, before I do that, you could see your power usage down here. All right, and you can go by day and you can go by week. So really, really helpful information. But let's turn off auto for a minute. And I'm gonna switch from grid to the Delta Pro. Now I want you to watch this for a second. The Delta Pro should light up when we make the switch. So let's go here, hit power station, and just see how fast it switches. And there we go. We are now on the Delta Pro. And you can see here that we're using 29 watts on that circuit. And right now we're directly connected to the battery. All right. Now, if we switch it back, to grid, you hear the click on the panel, put it back in auto mode. And what is auto mode? Well, if we lose power from the grid, it'll automatically switch to the smart home panel and automatically start using the batteries and the Delta Pro. So pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, so short and sweet. Again, we are still testing. We are still learning. This product should come out soon. But I hope you found this information helpful. If you have questions, post them. We'll do our best to answer them. But again, I hope you found the information helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel. And subscribe if you're not a family member. We would love to make you a family member. And share our video as well. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Hey, guys. Take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.